Hey, so if you're looking at this video, you probably had the same problem I had with the green, uh, dim green flickering light on your MacBook Pro. My MacBook Pro is a 2011 spring model 15 inch, and I've done a couple upgrades to it. I'm running a uh, hybrid hard drive in there, I've got 16 gigs of RAM, and uh, I, I'm not totally sure what caused the uh, the power issue but uh, here here's what what the scenario was last night uh, I was watching uh, using the Apple TV with it and it was kinda running good um, but I, I, I left it I wasn't actually uh, you know doing a dual video mode with it but I, I sat it over on the side the computer sat there for a few hours and uh, so when I was in this real heavy uh, video processing mode, I, I shut the lid. Um, and then in the morning, the the uh, computer wouldn't respond. So um, I plugged it in. It was completely uh, dead. Uh, hitting the, the power button didn't do anything. It wouldn't recharge. Uh, I tried to do something called the SMC. On the SMC, what you do is you come over here. And you hold down the uh, the shift control option buttons, all three together. And at the same time, you're going to be also pressing, you know, the, your power switch. So you have all four all four buttons down at the same time, and then let up. Um, I'm I'm told that if you do that for like five seconds, it'll reset the SMC. I tried that. I got nothing. Uh, it, I suggest uh, try it with the with the power cord in there it may reset your SMC and then you're good to go if you're under warranty take it in the shop don't maybe try to reset the the SMC yourself just to, to save you the trip going there but I would stop right here and just take it in uh, because you're gonna have to open the case and do some uh, digging around in there and, and if you're not familiar with uh, the in, insides of a MacBook Pro um, you're a lot better off having them do it so anyhow, <clears throat> so it's time for surgery inside the, the MacBook Pro. So what you want to do is go to Radio Shack, pick up one of these sets, precision screwdrivers, get the 1.6 millimeter small Phillips head, then you remove all the screws in the back of the case. Now, mark the location for each one of the screws like draw, draw a diagram of the the bottom of the case and noting what side the hinge is on the hinge is going to have uh, three long screws going into the into the hinge side to the back so uh, remove the back the next thing you're going to do is is there are three screws that go along the perimeter of the battery between the battery and the circuit board. Uh, one on the very end, of, one on each end of the battery, the far ends, and then one in the center. And you're going to need to get a three prong screwdriver. I ordered this one from Hong Kong. It took like, cost like three dollars. I don't understand how they did this, but it showed up in uh, a couple days air freight for just a couple dollars freight. And uh, it was on my doorstep. But, uh, it's a three-prong cell phone, cell phone screwdriver. You want to get one of these, or you can modify a, a flat blade. That that should work pretty good for you. Um, either way, just as long as you can get something in there where you're not stripping the screw, it doesn't have that much tension holding the battery in. So they're not it's not super torqued and uh, Loctited in there or anything. <clears throat> okay, so when you take the battery loose then there's a little black connector that connector just lifts straight up so just kinda gently pry on both sides you know maybe take some a little plastic something plastic and just gently nudge up both sides until the the clip comes out you can remove the whole battery set it aside okay so now what you want to do is get the power cable nearby uh, make sure you're in a safe place and uh, no water around. Make sure there's nothing, uh, you know, um, that can that can bridge any connections, um, any metal or 
jewelry. Make sure you don't have uh, bracelets on or anything when you're doing this for sure. Um, but you want to go ahead and plug in your power supply. Go okay, get your power supply. Plug that guy in. And uh, with the power supply plugged in and the case open, then go over and hold this down for five seconds. And then let up. And you should see the MacBook come to life. It'll it'll uh, spark, uh, not not spark, but you know it'll it'll just um, go through a, a boot cycle type thing. But mine didn't actually boot up. It just all the power buttons came on because I'm resetting the SMC. So um, I disconnected the power. Then I reinstalled the battery with the back still off. I reinstalled the battery, put the power cord back on, boom, now it's, you know, it's up and running. Everything's good. So, um, I went ahead and, and uh, reinstalled all three screws for the battery and uh, put the case back on and torqued everything the right way. Um, and then, with the computer off, then what I did was I did a another SMC with the three keys and then um, you, you have to have the power cord in to do the SMC with the three keys and then I did a reboot you know just holding the power button on just touch the power button and uh, the computer rebooted it was at 24 percent battery so it wasn't a condition where it went all the way down to zero um, this was actually some kind of uh, detected power fault uh, that where the system froze so hopefully it doesn't happen uh, <laughs> when I'm in the middle of a presentation somewhere but uh, if it does you know then I have to get to some screwdrivers I guess and uh, and do a reset I've only ever had to do an SMC once before on an old you know a system that was about a 2005 um, 17 inch where I plugged in the wrong um, I, I I overloaded the uh, the power uh, USB uh, connectors by trying to run a um, I think it was some type of a GPS device that was drawing a lot of uh, current on a MacBook. There's a couple different uh, plugs there for the USB. So. Um, the front, the furthest one to the front is going to have the high, is going to have full power, but the one behind it, further closer to the hinge, um, is just USB and it's not powered as high of amperage. So if you're ever going to run anything that needs power, like a light or something like that, make sure that the powered one's on the front, the one that's not powered is in the back. Uh, that's the only other time I've had something affect uh, the SMB. So, with that little bit of information, I wish you well, and uh, long live uh, the legacy of Steve Jobs.